Hello friends, my name is Wendy Wood and it is my honor today to introduce to you Rotary Club 99's member spotlight, Jonathan Opus. Hi Jonathan. Hey, how are you doing today Wendy? I'm great, it's so good to see you. Why don't we start by having you tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, all right, so I'm Jonathan Opitz. I'm the president of AMR Architects here in Little Rock. Um, I'm also the incoming uh, president for AIA in Arkansas. So um, our firm focuses on um, mixed use development and projects on college campuses. For us, it's really about connecting people and, and making sure our buildings are, are, are places for people to engage. Well, I've seen some of the photographs of the work that y'all have done and it's beautiful work. So that's got to be uh, super exciting for y'all. It, it is. We, we absolutely love it. Bringing people together during a pandemic can be difficult, but it's one of those things that I think we look forward to the most is, is getting to see people interact in our spaces once this is all behind us. Well, tell us um, for our Rotarians that are listening and watching um, how long you have been a member of Rotary. I'm getting pretty close to four years. I was April of 17 and it was my good friend Rocky Goodman who brought me to Rotary the first time and I think it was a matter of a week or two after that first meeting that, that I decided I needed to be a member. Well that's great. Um, when you think back over that time, what um, has been your favorite Rotary memory? Uh, that's that's pretty tough. There's so many great things about Rotary and so many things that I appreciate, but the one that I think sticks with me the most was helping with Miracle League. When you go out there and you engage with these kids and, and you get to see pure unbridled joy, it's it's just something that you, you can't really get other places. Their parents get to sit back and be, you know, just parents, not, not caregivers, not assistants and they get to experience that joy in a, in a different way too. I think it's it's a pretty special thing that we do. Oh, that does sound like a great um, experience. Now, is that something that we haven't done this year because of the pandemic or is that something we do every so often? It's something that, that um, we've had an opportunity to do numerous times. In fact, whenever they are playing and, and right now, I, I know it might be a little different because of the pandemic, but when they were playing, almost any weekend they could take on volunteers. You would just need to sign up at a time. But it's one of those things where, you know, sometimes you, you give and, and you don't see maybe any kind of return. And this is instant. The second you start helping those kids bat or run the bases, it's an instant return. It's that wonderful, immediate feel good moment. That's great. Well, um, we haven't been able to get together in person for months now because of the pandemic. What do you look forward to most when we're able to get back together in person and have our meetings? That's so easy for me. It's the spontaneous <laughs> moments. It's those just serendipitous connections where I try to sit at a different table every time I go to Rotary. So it's potluck. You just never know what you're going to get, who you're going to get to talk to, what kind of connection you're going to make and, and that level of spontaneity and, and kind of on the moment interaction is, is definitely what I miss the most. I miss that too. Um, I feel like the fireside chats kind of help with um, getting to have a little bit of that spontaneity, but it's not quite the same. Um, I do miss that part of being in person too. The, the fireside chats definitely help. It, it, brought that element back to what we've been doing. And, and I appreciate that we're doing it a little more often. Uh, but I mean, I think like most people, it's just, it doesn't make up for that face-to-face, -face, getting to shake somebody's hand, getting that that one-on-one -on -one connection. And, in, and it's something that Rotary is just so tremendous at. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, Jonathan, tell us something unique about yourself that we might not know. Uh, this one's tough, and, and I guess I default back to uh, my leadership grade of Little Rock class fun fact, and it's that I've lived in three countries. I was lucky enough to be an, an Army kid when I was growing up, and I got to live in Germany for six years. Wonderful opportunity, and then when I was in architecture school at Fayetteville, I got to spend four months in Mexico City, and then even when I was other places, my, my heart was always in Arkansas. I've always been in Arkansas since the day I was born. So it's, it's always wonderful to come back after those other experiences. 
Well, those are great experiences. Good for you. Well, um, thank you so much for spending some time with us today and sharing a little bit about yourself. Congratulations again on being our member spotlight. I hope you have a wonderful day and um, as well as everybody else watching. Thank you. Thank you. Sure do appreciate it.